And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with Tuckler Baroni. Tell us, Tuckler Baroni, how are you feeling today? Can't stump the Trump. You cannot stump the Trump. Tuckler Baroni, 2017. Possibly 2018. Depending on whether Trump if Trump's assassinated or not. <laughs> if he is, I have a feeling you're going to change your quote. If he was going to be killed, he was going to be killed at the inauguration. Or possibly before. Or before, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I agree. I, I think now he's fine. Actually, I, I'm not so sure. Because, see, as much as they don't want Trump... They want Pence less. That's the thing. I don't think they want to put it up into the hands of like Congress to resolve who's the next president. Yeah, no kidding. Especially since they could pick somebody like McCain. Why did John roll that role? I guess he's making a character, a like candlelight. Oh, Unless he's making okay. another new NPC or something. He's got a four. <laughs> <laughs> and a seven. All right, well, this someone's, is going to be a retard. Someone's either going to not be able to lift their own shoes, or they can only count to count. That's true. <clears throat> you know what I, I notice I have to be careful of? Mm. When I mute Skype, my microphone's actually still going. It's just Skype that's muted. Mm -hmm. So I gotta be careful because, like, whenever I mute Skype to fart, I can't do that anymore. Are you still recording? Yeah, I told you I'm recording. God damn it! You're gonna be recorded, and everything you say will be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> okay. Quit beating your meat. Smacking it on your thigh just does nothing for me. Okay, come on. Put me in the West Weird Woods, I think it is. Okay. It is the 6th of Cthulhu. Do you know what her birthday is? Oh, God. Is it listed? Yeah. If it's not listed, then no. You were I have told. no. Bullshit. Yeah, you were. When? Sometime before today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so is that the first thing you're going to do? Is you get up in the morning, you're going to go to the West Weird Woods? Yeah. Listen, dude, if I had her birthday, I'd fucking write it down. I would have rather... I would have I would have written it down, at least. i sure you would. Well, then, you would have. Now, what is it? <laughs> Check check your your abundant notes. <laughs> They're not there. <laughs> Are you taking Shell with you on this journey? Well, sure. Into the past. All right. I bet she hasn't been in the woods in a while, so I'm sure she'd like to come. All right. First thing she's gonna do is just run and jump into a big mud puddle. You know what? Let let her do her thing. All right. Then she comes out like a fucking one foot tall swamp thing. All right. <clears throat> and off you go into the woods. The birds are chirping. It's a beautiful morning. It's cold as fuck. <clears throat> Chell is starting to turn into a big brown icicle. God damn it. If that gets stuck in your hair, you're washing it out. You know that. Before we get back. I know. Alright. Alright. You're on guard because you know that there could be... Very... Piece of shit bandits I'm going to have to beat up. Yes. The bandits that prey on little neophytes. Well, you ain't no neophyte no more. 
No, I'm not, thankfully. And you could beat them up when you were a neophyte, so they better be really be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you continue on your journey, trying to remember the way to grandmother's house. La da 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 da. Survival check. And damn it. Would it be wisdom to remember the way? No. Well, I'll give you a bonus if you pass a wisdom check. Give me a wisdom check. Alright, wisdom check to remember the way. Survival. Shit. All right, you are walking <laughs> and walking, uh -huh. and after a half hour, you realize you're in the middle of the woods. God damn it! <clears throat> Chell called for your attention one too many times, and after turning around to look at her for the fifth time, you realize you may have turned about twelve circles at this point. Well, he'd sigh. And ask Chell if she remembers the way. And she says, you can try again. <laughs> Wisdom check. Come on, Roland. Come on. No, for Chell, not you. Oh. Uh, okay, hang on. You can use that roll, though. A 19, so whatever her wisdom is. Uh, where the fuck survival? There it is. Yeah! <clears throat> Alright. She laughs. I find you quite cute. <laughs> and then she's like, yep. Follow me there, fuzzy. And she leads you to another puddle of mud. What she inspects for crawdads. She does not find a crawdad. She does find a suicidal earthworm. <clears throat> His name is Erlen. <laughs> okay, keep drawing. She eats him. He is happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then she takes off again poof and you keep walking and you keep walking she stops orients herself and then keeps walking and it's about another half hour but finally when you think maybe she's lost and just is fucking you over she just isn't telling you <clears throat> finally the woods kind of start to part into a little circular clearing, and up ahead you see a wooden house with a beautiful arrangement of flowers. <clears throat> okay, and you can do a perception check as you approach the house of the Witch of West Weird Woods. Okay. <clears throat> you are, uh, <clears throat> I assume you're going to just uh, mosey on right up to the house? Uh, yeah, prob yeah, probably a bit slowly, so I don't stare at the fucking lion. Okay. Well, as you come forward about uh, five, ten feet from where you are, <clears throat> Speaking yeah. of which, yeah. what does what does she what did she ever tell me what what to call her? Just Autumn or Sky or Miss Amir or what? Well, you can call her Mummy when you're spanking her. God damn it! Or when she's spanking you. God, God damn it! Nah. Autumn. Autumn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. So as you step forward, you notice something in the bare dirt off to your left. It camouflages directly into the bare dirt. It's laying flat on its side, 
But even then, it's damn near as tall as you are, <laughs> even with its width. Yeah. And it's just laying perfectly flat on its side, its head's down. His name's Hercules, isn't it? No. God damn it. I don't remember his name. Check your notes. You have a lot of them. No. <laughs> uh, no. And as you move forward and you get to about here, his eyeball will open. And that little well, said he will just look at you. I'd freeze and turn to him. Hey, buddy, it's me. <clears throat> he will lick his lips, look at his chops, just like he's ready to dig into a big old T-bone. And then he finally lifts his head, and there's some dirt stuck to the bottom half, but that's all right. And he just watches you and stares at you. Okay. <laughs> and he stands up. Okay. <clears throat> he bends his back low and puts his paws out and he stretches. <laughs> Hey. <clears throat> yeah, you never know with him. Whatever his name is. Shut up! I forget. It's been a while. Hmm. And then we keep going. All right, give me an, an Android animal check. Okay. Alright, that's beautiful. <laughs> so you, you give him a thumbs up like Fonzie as you walk by. Hey. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Fuzzy? That's not about you. <clears throat> yeah. And when you take one step, he yes, he takes one step. Except his steps are a little bigger than yours. <laughs> Chell will move to the front of you. I'll, I'll hold the hand out so he can smell me. Goodbye, hand. <laughs> I knew you will. <laughs> He'll take one more step. His head, which is bigger uh, by about three times than yours, <laughs> will lean forward. His his fucking nose is about as big as your whole face. And he will push his nose to your hand and sniff it. <laughs> Then he turns, starts walking back, flips his tail, smacks you in the face with it. Mm -hmm. And then he just unceremoniously just flops onto his side. Thud! <laughs> he lets out a grunt, like, oh, that was a little rougher than I expected. <laughs> hard day work, hard day. <laughs> and he just goes back to laying flat out on his side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If I remember right, this is the front. No, this is the front. What's the front? This is the front right here, the walkway. Okay, then I'm doing it right. Yeah, you're doing it right. Okay. I don't remember this having a map before, either. I mean a map. The map from before of this place was shitty. I remember, because it wasn't even a hut. It was just a circle. No. Yeah. I remember. <clears throat> there is a wooden door. That is a plain wooden door, except along the edges it has been engraved 
with a, a beautiful floral pattern of like ivy going up around the edges the whole way around at the frame of the door. It's solid and it's a dark red wood. It's probably been stained. I want a perception to hear if they're doing anything inside. You want to hear the headboard banging against the wall? I want to make sure they're not doing that, yeah. Alright. Shit. <laughs> 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 well, that was horrible. I can't do it with a cold. Fuck you. Was that an elephant? It was an elephant with a cold. Is there an elephant with a cold inside? What the fuck was that? They're getting kinky. Oh, are they fucking in there? No. Okay. No, the only thing you actually hear is, um... <clears throat> You hear, uh, well, actually, you know what? <laughs> you have to pause for a moment because you do hear a repetitive banging sound. God damn it. But it's soft, so now you got to figure out, is it just distant or what is it? But it is essentially what you hear. Okay. I'll tell Chell to stay here and not fuck with the lion. All right, she gets out her blowgun. Not fuck with the lion. It's all right. She's got sleepy darts. And I'm going to come over here. Sw I'm going to creep <clears> over <throat> here. Oh, this is not creepy at all. You should start leering through the window. No. Are there are there windows around here? Yes. There's a window on... Uh, there's several on each side, actually. Uh, two on each side. One in the front here, and then one back here. And they want a front. But they're not like normal windows. They're just shutters. Essentially. Are they, all, are they closed they're on this open. side? Uh, no. Uh, this one is open. I can't see anything. There's a black line right here. This one's open. Yeah, okay. You, you can't see inside the house. You're on the outside, fucker. Well, it's, it felt like you're painting shit and I can't see anything. Right here, right here, right here. Okay. Well, do I, do I hear the painting any better? No, it actually seems to be becoming more distant. Okay. Well, that's... Okay. Well... <clears throat> the lion lifts his head and just looks at you again. Then lays back down like, alright. What if I come over here? Is there any ladder over here? <clears throat> it is about the same. <sighs> Motherfucker. I did it. I did it. Okay, screw it. We're being unceremonious. Not, 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 not. <clears throat> and then the banging stops. <clears throat> then you hear the loading of a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in there, sissy. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. After a moment, uh, <clears throat> um, the uh, <clears throat> door. You hear a latch being lifted. It's just like a wooden latch on the other side. Yeah. And the door opens. And you are blessed with the beautiful sight of uh, the very voluptuous autumn. We got a new picture, I think. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a new picture. It looks like a new picture. Yeah. Though this is more like how she's dressed now, uh, which is pretty much a representation of when she's not in town for the most part. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh,. Okay. She's much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I, I, she invited me in. I didn't invite myself in. You fucked her. No, you just grabbed her tit and pushed her way in. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so she will smile at you. She, is she sweaty? Is she red in the face? No. 
Uh, well, she's... No, no, not, not really. Uh, there, there's a little sweat, I guess, on the side of her neck. Maybe on the cleave, heaving cleavage of her bosom. <clears throat> but uh, she also has uh, flour all over her titties and hands. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Roland. Glad you finally came to visit me. I heard that you were off on some quest. Dwarf quest. <laughs> I am still. I was fortunate enough to have a break. Ah. Well, you came at the right time. I was just making something to eat. Are you hungry? Oh, very. It's, it's been too long since I've been in the woods. We got lost, and he kind of ruffled Cho's hair. And take some of the blame off of him for being lost. Ah. Uh, well. <clears throat> Why don't you have a seat? Are you thirsty? If it wouldn't be too much trouble. <clears throat> she will wipe her hands a little bit on a towel, then go in the back and grab a pitcher. <clears throat> and, uh... <clears throat> Actually, some type of crock, and then from the crock, she'll actually ladle out some frothy substance <clears throat> into a a, a, a a stein made of, uh, well, probably solidified hog's colon, but we're, we're gonna say it's uh, it's uh, <clears throat> we're just gonna say it's a leather stein. Okay. <laughs> And she'll bring it back. The table's over here. Okay. There's no furniture in this place, if she, in case you didn't notice. Imagination is the key, <laughs> <Dunga>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right. And she bends over in front of you and gives you the stein. And then straightens back up. Chell's eyes get really big, like, holy bejesus. <laughs> 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 That's like a fucking waterfall. That's the Niagara. <laughs> there you go. I think you'll like that. It's freshly made. He well, he drank some of it. Obviously, don't want you to be rude. She goes over. It is a. Uh, <clears throat> it's a very uh, sweet. It's it's like a honey mead. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, it's sweeter than normal, though, um, than the average meat you're used to. Okay. It's got autumn milk in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. <clears throat> so it looks like she's making some type of uh, pastry. It looks like she's making some type of uh, meat pies or something. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> and she's got, like, some... Uh, <clears throat> little ceramic, uh, very small pie pans, essentially, and she's uh, putting the tops on them now. So, is this just a, uh, a cordial visit, or is there uh, something you needed? Um, a few questions, and and ask for permission. Permission. Interesting. She'll smile at that and <clears throat> finish what she's doing and then go over and stick them in the uh, <clears throat> the uh, oven. Okay. Put the little lid on it, stuff it in there, and then walk over, dusting her hands. And then she uh, tosses her rag off to the side and sits down, crosses her legs, and just kind of looks at you. Hmm. Well... Well, shall I begin or shall you? I can if you like, but it'll be a little awkward since I don't know where I'm going. Mm. Well, then I might as well. Um, I love your daughter to death. He he, tried to like put his head down. Just that's embarrassing. She'll smile. I'm pleased to hear that. I think she loves you 
quite a bit as well. I hope. Um, I think she feels left out a lot. And I, especially since, um, you know, with uh, Cabal, Waltz, and all of that, she can't come a lot of the time. And long story short, I'd like to ask for her hand. And he'd kind of chuckle a bit and look up at her. She'll study for a moment and kind of suck on the inside of the right side of her bottom lip. Heather, one of her hands will go up and brush some hair behind her ear. Aren't you married? I am. Um. <sighs> Honestly, it, I've thought a lot about it. It's, it's strange. I know it's strange. It was strange for me to get married in the first place. I just, I think she feels like a third wheel all, of, all the time, even, even when we're alone and I've, I just, I hate to see her like that. I really do. I'm sure it's difficult for her. Considering that she is second to Katrina. And I'd like to rectify that. <clears throat> do you think marrying, though, is going to rectify that? A bit, at least. Well, she'll inhale deeply and slowly exhale. Gives her boobies time to flex. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think that's very generous of you. But aren't you doing it for the wrong reason? Making her happy is not the right reason? No. What would be? Making you happy. Well, not getting punched in the arm every time I see her would make me very happy. Have you told her to stop punching you in the arm? Yeah. Ah. Well, I wasn't sure if that would work. <clears throat> I can imagine why it wouldn't. Well... She's not much taller than me, and when I did, she kicked me in the shin and asked if that was better. And it wasn't. Those, those slippers are harder than they look. I think that marriage is a beautiful thing. The idea that somebody... That two people commit themselves to each other forever. It's very romantic and it's just very beautiful. Or more than two people, in your case. He'd sigh at that. But see, the problem Roland, that I'm concerned about and I'm just giving you advice here. If you don't want it, you can tell me to be quiet. I won't give you any. <clears throat> but I'm not sure this is going to solve your problem. If you think this is going to be a solution, I think you may be mistaken. Even if you two are married, if you look at most of the cultures that have more than one wife, no matter what they do or say, there is almost always an order of hierarchy. In fact, the turn who have to make it very clear. They've learned to embrace that. There is a clear uh, pecking order amongst their wives. <clears throat> Could you I really didn't. say that if she and Katrina got into an argument, 
a very, very violent argument. And neither one was necessarily wrong. They were both right in their own way. Are you saying you would not side with Katrina over her? She is your cabal sister, and she is the daughter of Nathaniel and Leonia Hart. This is a truth that you can try to hide with marriage, but I think she's still going to feel it. I think she's going to know it. Then how do I fix it? Can I fix it? Oh, Roland. There. What, what happened to you? You know, Zeta told me that when she was very upset when you first married Trina. <clears throat> she said that you couldn't marry her. That there was this honor and tradition and all these things that would forbid you from having more than one wife. <clears throat> I thought they were. I really did. I I grew up in a thule, but it was always the homeland this, jaw that. Our ancestors would do it this way, always. And I honestly, I never pictured myself ever marrying, period, anyone, ever. The, the wars over in Ternu Hath, they were going to drive Katrina away from the cabal, for possibly forever, just like with our brother Harpo. And the only way to fix it would be to give control of her to someone else, away from her father. That's why I did it, in truth. All right. She, she, she nods. She actually told me that. Well. <clears throat> but she also told me that you had told her that you couldn't marry her. There could be only one. That brings me to my other point. <sighs> <sighs> when you look at me, what do you see? In truth. Physically. An orangutan. <laughs> God damn it. What do I see? I see a dwarf wizard with a very long beard. Besides my love of coin, that's the only... See, besides my love of coin... And everyone has some love of coin. That's the only dwarf thing about me. I don't... I don't regularly pray to Torag. I don't... I don't do anything else. I don't observe any of the traditions. I don't... I'm not a dwarf. Except with my own earth and flesh and blood. And so, I had a realization and it was... To hell with the traditions. He broke away from a fool, or rather jaw, rather to a fool, that's what I meant to say. Um, so, the hell with the traditions. Hell, my sister isn't married to a dwarf either. She's married to a human king. So, I don't feel any inclination to follow it anymore. I did. Truly, but that's. I'm very happy for you. If this is truly what you want, I just hope you're not doing it as a fix for a problem. Because there was a time when the traditions were important to you. <laughs> The only traditions, really, that I observe are ones of family, and I consider her family, and I want 
Oh, my family to be together and happy. I wish I had some simple solution for you, Roland. I don't think there is any. I know how stubborn Zeta can be. She has a little bit too much of me in her. I know how angry she can get. For the same reason. She told me your name. I don't know if she told you that. Oh. So you know it. Sunset Tulip, yes. It's pretty. Thank you. Although, I can see why she'd hide it in a stool of wizards. I think it's a beautiful name. I don't know why she does hide it. I've heard many names of all sorts, but she wanted something more normal, I suppose. Where did she get Zeta? I don't recognize the etymology. <clears throat> I'm not sure, actually. I think she heard it somewhere when she was very young. When she was about three or four, and she just started saying it, and so we called her that. <clears throat> Later, we called her that. Uh, she went by Sunset for a very long time, most of her life, actually, most of her youth. <clears throat> well. <sighs> well, marriage. Wow, that is a special time. I think she's going to be very ecstatic. I just think you should prepare yourself. Because I believe the same problems are going to resurface after the euphoria passes. Unless you can find some way to change the fact that she's now just going to be the second wife. I don't think you're going to change anything. She will have more claim to you, at least in her mind. <clears throat> She'll feel a little safer, not as easily disposable. I can see how that would make her feel more comfortable. It would make a lot of women more comfortable. But she's very jealous of Katrina. I don't think it has anything to do with you. I think she thinks that Katrina's prettier and more successful and more popular. And you also married her first. <clears throat> Katrina's also very, I think, very articulate, good with words, isn't she? Very, yeah. Yeah, see, Zeta has that problem, too. She either says something incorrectly or says the wrong thing or gets flustered and just starts stammering about. <sighs> can get very nervous sometimes. And, and I think she knows all this. And I've tried to help her past it, but it's just who she is. You just have to accept people for who they are. That's why I liked her so much. She was so different than all the people from Athor, all the nobles I was always associating with. Bunch of dribble. Mm. Honestly, I can't stand it whenever Trina, Trina goes into one of those monologues. But I know it's the way she is, and that's why I let her do it. It's the same way when Zeta gets flustered, I let her do her thing. <laughs> Let's see. And well, to tell you the truth, I'm a sucker for red hands, so she's got that over her every day. <laughs> she smiles. <clears throat> no wise man wouldn't be. <laughs> <clears throat> if you want to marry Zeta, just because you want to marry her. Then I'm very happy for you. 
But don't do it because you think it's going to improve your relationship with her. I very strongly believe that's not going to help much. It will for a little while. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. But then it's going to revert to the way it is unless something else changes. Are you going to change the way you treat Katrina? I'm hoping the closeness will bring up new avenues so they can treat one another better, truthfully. <clears throat> See, that could work easier if they were in the same cabal. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, your situation is not entirely ununique. There is a lot of jealousy among wizards, couples, who are from separate cabals because... They are so close with the others in their cabal. And there's always that jealousy there that what's happening in the cabal quarters. <clears throat> After all, most cabal mates spend their lives together. They eat, they sleep, they live together. Mm -hmm. They spend more time together than their significant others. So the jealousy is not that uncommon. What do you think, Roland? Why are you marrying her? I thought I came here with the answer, but I'm not so sure. I still want to, but the reasons are muddled. Unfortunately, I don't think I can give you the answer either. I know what I would do, but it's probably not correct. Well, I came for advice. <laughs> I already gave you that. What I would do is irrelevant. First off, it's coming from the wrong perspective. I'm a woman. My perspective would be more in line with Zita. Or at least how she may feel immediately, but that's also what gives me insight into knowing how she would probably feel later. No, I do not. I do not have a woman's perspective, so any perspective that is not mine is appreciated. Chow kicks you in your shin. <laughs> what did you say? He's not a woman. Because you don't have a female perspective. Well, not person. Well, I don't. I know you do, but I don't. <clears throat> it's actually very simple, Roland. I think even in Zeta's mind, if you don't want to marry her for your own sake, then don't marry her. That would break her heart if she ever found out that. Well... I want to be happy. I want to have her around. Having her around makes me happy. Are you happy? I'd be happier if she was with me. All the time. All the time. Well, that's a problem with the cabals, isn't it? It is. Unfortunately, that won't change with marriage. That won't change with anything. Cabals can be a wonderful thing. They can be cruel at times. Well, so what do you want? I can tell you right now. <clears throat> She'll hold up a hand and reach over and pat your forearm. You certainly should not marry her right now. Because from the way you're looking at me, if I was Zeta, I would feel very badly. 
He's eating furrows, bro. I don't understand. Well, Roland, we've been talking for 15 minutes. And you're still not sure what you want to do. I am sure. I want... To her... solve the problem. It's no use denying reality. That's not going to help her any at all. I wish you, you know, I have wishes. I wish that you had married her first and she was perfectly happy and the happiest she could ever be. But it does nobody any good to deny the truth. So, be honest with yourself, or you're going to hurt her more. I don't want to do it. I want to do it for her. I want her to be happy. I want all of us to be happy. I just want to live however long I live in comfort. With people I enjoy. With them all getting along. She'll think for a moment. Kind of staring off to the side for a second. Hell, that's why we bought that damn house in Lirio. Oh, the house in Lirio. Mm hmm. Just so you can live and have your life. I understand that. <clears throat> Are you going to have a place for Zeta there? Eventually. Right now, we barely, we don't even have a place for ourselves. <sighs> well, from what you just told me, Roland, I think it's fairly obvious you shouldn't marry her. As for taking away her pain and her jealousy, I'm not sure you can do that either. I could, perhaps, we could have a celebration of a different sort. In truth, the other reason I came to you was to ask about your traditions, things you do, things druids do, things I wouldn't, I couldn't find out any other way. Oh, you mean, like, regarding the relationships? Well, celebrations. I've never been to a druid wedding. That's what I was had in mind, at least. Well, druids are different based on their region. They're not all the same. There are a lot of customs that are, sh customs that are shared, though. <clears throat> I would, uh... The rings are not common. I know that's the common thing among urban humans, but that's because they like metal and fancy precious things. Well, it's not just humans. <laughs> but I understand. Azita would probably like more practical or symbolic. But the symbolic has to be practical, not just superficial. Uh, the most common tradition would be like a floral wreath for her head, a crown, or dresses of some sort, something you can give her that would be symbolic yet still practical. I think if I gave her a dress, she'd think I was trying to feminize her. That's possible. So what would she like then? Hmm. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me knowledge Arcana see if you think of this. Let me, I should just, <clears throat> All right. just You know what? I think that's I think that's enough. 
All right. Mm. Mm. Um, I don't know if you know what they are, but what about a leshy? She may like that. A gift. I believe she may like that quite a bit, actually. Though, you know, she has a quite a good fondness for her animals. I do. <laughs> but she also likes plants. A lushy would be very beautiful. I thought it would be a sort of a combination. Plus, if it was small, I could say it was based on me. I think she'd find that funny. Hmm. Yes, she might. I could see the old man's beard hanging down from his face. Quite. Have you brought her into your bridal bed? Uncle, what the fuck does that mean? <clears throat> Have you brought her into your bridal bed? I don't know what that means. The bed that you sleep with your wife. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, yes. Of course. I wouldn't make her sleep on the couch or anything. Hmm. Do you think that made her feel better? Did you notice a change? Mm. About me, but I think it made her tense that there was another person. Well, I know it made her tense, but I don't think it made her more tense than normal. It might feel better if you had a place that was not exclusively, you, exclusively yours and hers, but was predominantly yours and hers. Mm. Somewhere that you could be bring Katrina, but Katrina would be the outsider or the guest. Either that or find a way to make it truly feel like neither are guests. Mm. Perhaps a home for you and her, or the home for the three of you, or a bed that is specifically for the three of you, always. <clears throat> that is the best I think you're ever going to be able to do, unless you can somehow rearrange and break the claws. Uh, I don't think even Zodius Main can do that. I'm sure Zodius could, but he wouldn't. <clears throat> Zodius would probably say, these are the trials that are intended by life to make us stronger. And this would be the life, the trial that she must simply endure. <clears throat> there is some argument to that. I know there's a lot of people that believe that philosophy, that she simply must suffer the jealousy and the pain and that's her lot in life. She is the second wife. Some people I know, if you spoke to Katrina's father, huh, mm. he would give you entirely different advice. And if you want a male perspective, I can't give you that. You might want to speak to him. Turn your I... death, despite what I believe, and I do not believe that they're correct in a lot of things, but they are a culture that does this routinely, so he might be able to help you. Mm. 
as a last resort. Maybe he he and I differ on a lot of things. Yeah, he and I do as well. Besides, I'm prob after this mission is over, I'm going to probably become a lot more acquainted with him. Going. There's a lot of strife in Terra New Hath that I'm going to go help Katrina fits it. So she, her father, will cease summoning her. <clears throat> Which doesn't help this. <laughs> no. But even if it was a lorry or a Pudi or anyone else, I'd still go. Unfortunately, I think my daughter's just a jealous woman. I think you're always going to have that problem. And I love her very much, but I think that is just the sad truth. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what? what was the last thing he said? I think you were wrong. Uh, fuck. He said, um, that he said that's why I picked her first. First, she's a little jealous? Yeah. Well, because her, well, her flaws are obvious. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, she doesn't hide anything. I like it. She's straightforward. No. Yeah. Yeah. Her emotions are on her sleeve. I know. It's kind of like put that way. She'll smile at you. <laughs> but I'll warn you. Don't make the mistake that I made into thinking that that means that they're going to be simple to interact with. I think that's where you're at right now. Just because she wears her heart on her sleeve does not mean her emotions are going to be simple. Mm -hmm. Pud can be very difficult. Extremely difficult. But anybody who knows him, at least fleetingly, they'll say, well, how can you have any surprises with him? He's just, everything's out in the open from the start. That's true. That doesn't mean he's easy to get along with. Hmm. Roland, I think you're doing actually quite well. We haven't killed each other, and I don't have any scars, so well, something's going well. And, yes, and they both seem civil to one another. I'm not sure... How they truly treat each other, I haven't seen it, but I know that I've not heard about any brawls with the heart daughter. In truth, all of their differences, all the things Zeta spites her for, <coughs> save me, are all about the way that her father bred her. Her father, her father bred her. <laughs> Hello, to... father. Hello, <laughs> motto. <laughs> The makeup she puts on every morning, the way she has her bat stiff whenever she's in the company of others, the smite vows, god damn it, the fake smile she puts on whenever there's important matters to attend to. It's, 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 it's not like Katrina holds it over her. You know, she's a very understanding woman. I've met her twice, actually. Young Heart. She seems very sweet and very proper. It's probably something else that Zita's probably a little jealous of, is just how good Katrina is. And how obedient and how proper. And she does everything perfectly. <clears throat> and I think you're right. I think she didn't have a choice. Her father is not the type to allow much deviation. No. Me... No. I mean, in fact, my 
Mecca Ball has gone very cross with him before, and that's almost how we lost one of us, and how we did lose another. Can I confide in you, Roland? Well, sure. I'm confiding in you. <laughs> yes, but this is a different type of confidence. Oh. I'll tell you something that Zeta told me once. Something that upset her a lot. I had her extremely upset, actually. She said that when you went to Scothia, that... She told me that her, your cabal didn't want her to come along. No, they didn't. I thought you should know that that upset her for a long time. Well, to tell you the truth, it did me too. I mean, there was there was no reason we didn't need more help, especially someone that we were all familiar. I mean, we were all familiar with each other. It wasn't like they were bringing in someone completely new. We were going to have to interact with. <laughs> That's Plus, what I actually said. That I'm not sure this is going to solve the problem because I see her being jealous of more than just Katrina. I never thought of that. And she, what's bothering her is that she's second place to everyone. And unfortunately, you can't fix that. You made a vow. That's reality. She is second place. First, above all others, is the Cabal. It is cruel. I have not... I have fought many rounds over things like this. If you knew half the stories. Did you, did you once teach? I know that they had nature magic and taught but did you teach it I didn't teach no I was once a student hmm. I was a very 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 angry student what made you angry everything <laughs> this is why I also can understand Katrina Hart's plight. See, she is living her entire life under a very heavy shadow. And so I can sympathize with her. I've. I've I've tried to lift that. He'd kind of lean back and put his head right in his head. Kind of told her what I expected. You know, I don't expect to keep her on a short leash or anything. Hell, my sister, after all. Have you done anything with them that's just the three of you? That's solely just for romantic purposes or your personal family. Mm. If you're going to be a triangle, you should do things as a triangle once in a while. And I don't mean just sleeping in bed. I took them to eat a long time ago. Oh, come on, Roland. I'm going to feed you and Shell. Does that make us a triangle? No. No, it doesn't. And I'm... I, it's a it's excuse, and I know it was an excuse, but... God's above in my terrible at romance. Everybody is. That's what makes it so exhilarating. That's not true. Not everybody. Some people are actually extremely good at it. 
And they're usually the predators that prey on everybody else. Mm. Because they're just too good at it. Mm. If it's not a if it's not a gift or a place to take them to, I, I'm at a loss. I wasn't I, I wasn't bred with any of this. I was bred to be an accountant. Be shut in. Well, see, Zeta, she's going to be confused, too. See, she's of split culture. See, the way I was raised, it's far different than the way that she was raised. You asked about druid culture. See, druid culture probably would accept this a lot more than the culture she was raised in. The way I was raised would accept something like this a lot more. We were more honest. The more natural you are, the more honest you have to be. Nature is brutal. It's beautiful, but it's brutal. And you have to accept the honesty. <clears throat> See, she's mixed. She has some of that. But she also has Eclipsia, the culture. Mm -hmm. She wants to be successful, but she doesn't want to live in this culture. That in itself is a conflict. It's why she's not very successful in the Lyceum. I try to help her as I can, but she's caused a lot of problems. She's got in so many infractions because in the grand scheme of things, and perhaps this is my fault, but she was not raised to be successful in this culture. Well, well I don't think that's your fault. My, ugh, I'm sure you've heard the stories of my trouble. Well, the one that happens to be the center of most of them, he was a... Shut up! I'm, tell, I'm laying the blame on him. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Lay the blame. Lay it. Lay it good. The one at the heart of most of them, well, you know, he was raised far up north in one of the rural areas, and he was <clears throat> son of a butcher, as he's told us a Hundred, hundred times. Oh, do you mean Kurtal Erlen? Yes. Yes, I heard about the butcher. The butcher? Is he don't don't tell me he's known by that. Hmm. Yes. God's I think course. so. He works in the firmary a lot, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've heard. It's not like he's very well known. I mean, he's. I have heard that there was somebody in the infirmary who always mentions, you know, his his sewing skills and such, and how he used to sew up hogs or something like that. The one who raped his sister. He just shaked his head at that. What? That didn't get hurt. I'm sorry. No, I only hear things from Zeta and things that a few of my friends tell me from the Lyceum. We were... We were on the wall and a demon got a hold of him. Oh, that's... And that was when Nathaniel Hart inherited his damaged property. That's probably the only reason my father was able to afford her, in truth. I was wondering how you managed to get Katrina Hart. Not that <laughs> I don't think you're a very lovely man. No, they, no, but my father, my father, he gave <clears throat> so much. That's for me to be happy. But, but yes, that that incident, it... I don't think Zeta realizes how hurt deep down Trina really is. I think they could... I think if she did, she might have a bit of a different opinion. 
but maybe not. You know, sure. Tap, pat the table. That may be your solution, Robin. Why don't you let Zeta see what Katrina has to suffer? Yeah, maybe she only has one sided view of Katrina. Hmm. I see what you mean. I really do, but I don't. I don't know how to show her without introducing her to Nathaniel Hart, and I. You couldn't pay me enough money to do that. Well, you may not want to engineer it, but if the opportunity arises, you might not want to prevent it. Mm. Or if it does happen, at least take Zito along, let her see it. I definitely am not encouraging you to make Katrina suffer. I just, I can imagine. Now, Zita, we've shown her a lot, and we've let her see all sides of Spilia. <clears throat> From the docks to the Dragon Emporium, and in that way, she's fairly worldly. She's seen everybody that's come through the ports. <clears throat> but at the same time, she's still had a one-sided view of a lot of the world. First off, she's had very open parents, I believe. I don't think she understands the concept of having very oppressive parents. She may think she does, but I don't think she does. She's never had anything like that in her life. Pud <clears throat> encourages her to do anything she wants to do. He's more open than I am in most things. He's always trying to get her to get in trouble. <laughs> So I, maybe that she just doesn't understand. Even if you tell her Katrina has a very oppressive father, he always is mean to her, I don't think she's going to understand it. Like somebody who's actually seen that. I don't think she's ever seen that with anybody. <clears throat> just let her get so angry that she punches Nathaniel. Oh. I will make sure. <laughs> I, um... I think I may have a solution to... Oh, damn, I used that word. I shouldn't have used that word. Hmm. I think... I have a plan. After this mission is over, I am obliged to go with my wife and to Terenuheth to her father's business. I believe that if... To recover Kurtal's corpse. Well, that's... That's like a side mission. And even then, I don't know if I want to put that much effort into that getting back that. <laughs> I mean, I could use it in the, as like a skeleton, but that's about it. Hmm. Um, but maybe if I was able to take along a concubine or something, something they'd understand, he'd kind of say quickly to make sure she understood what he was talking about. Okay. That, um, well, she, she wouldn't be scrutinized for, be, for being <clears throat> there, and she'd be able to bear witness. Hmm. I think that could be good for her. Even if it doesn't solve anything, it'll probably generate a little bit more empathy. It might help her understand why it is you did what you did. Yes, I, I, I believe, and it wasn't just that. It, it, 
I believe I hurt my brother Tertal doing it as well. I know. Oh, well, I figured for a long time that he had feelings for Katrina, and then at, at the apex of it, not only did that happen, but then I took her. Hmm. Granted, he's moved on, but still, I I know that's stung. <sighs> More romantic casualties of the cabal. <laughs> Did you know that uh, she was supposed to marry Harpo? Who? Katrina. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I heard that. Apparently that was Nathaniel's plan before whatever happened that made him change it. I didn't know what it was until you told me. And then again, even that could could not be it. Uh, I don't know. I think he regrets marrying her off to me now that he's moved on to being a king. Who? Harpo. Well, that's why he wanted to marry her to him originally. He was well, a royal prince in her own cabal. It was clandestine in his eyes. Yeah. But if that were to happen, then we'd be down a brother and a sister, not just a brother. Yes. It all works out. Life goes on. Some way or another. So, <clears throat> I sympathize with you, Roland. I know you're in a terrible spot. It's not normal that I have to put myself in a man's shoes, but it's refreshing. Mm. It makes me th rethink some of my arguments with Pud. Not that I'll admit it. <laughs> you sound like my mother. I think that Sita wants very badly to feel like she's doing right and she's being a good girl. I know that sounds bad, but it's not really. Everybody wants to be good. Everybody wants to feel like they're doing the right thing. And even she, I mean, like I told you, she's in a culture that conflicts with the culture in which she was raised. So she's not a good student. She's not a good wife. Katrina is the good wife. She is perfect in every way, and she's obedient. And she's loving, and if you ask her to do anything, she would do it. Wouldn't she? In fact, that was the whole way Nathaniel raised her. I am certain of it. No, it is. It's hard. It's been an arduous uphill battle to try and break that programming. might be able to eventually or just accept her for who she is just like that accept Sita for who she is she well, wants to matter in her own way yeah. <clears throat> I'm surprised she hasn't asked you to have children yet honestly I thought that would be one of the first things she'd do do you mm. uh, never mind in fact that's what Pud said would happen after she left, she said he, she is going to be kicked out of the Lyceum within months after she met you. Well, I, um, by the way, um, a few months after she met me, um, did, did she start asking for money? Yes. Mm. And I think I know what it's for. Yes, well, after I found... After I found out about it, I told her, told her I'd take care of it. Wish I'd known. I thought never even occurred to me. Rock-headed as I am. So you're supposed to be paying for all of it now? Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, I'll let Pud know. He'll be happy to know that. Mm-hmm. 
Um, on that topic, though, um, we seriously considered it while we were in Strothia, but uh, I didn't want to see her kicked out. It's not that much longer until she graduates. Well, Roland, if she can't put down her roots by you, by you putting down your roots, she'll smile. Perhaps she can put it down her roots some other way. Think about what it would mean to her to be a good woman. Not by Katrina's definition, but by hers. Because like I said, everybody wants to be good. You want to be a good dwarf. You want to be a good man. She wants to be a good wife, a good woman, in her own way. What she feels is right and good. And I know she could knock out an odor if she really wanted to, so I keep her around. He'd, he'd grin at that. She's a homesteader, Roland. She likes raising animals. For all her bravado and her fieriness, she's a very nurturing personality. I'll make sure to tell her next time she has to... <laughs> when she's not hitting. Well, or I'll make sure to tell her next time she's having to take care of the goblins. Has she complained? Yes. Oh, that surprises me. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. I... I uh, Oh. oh, I thought raising Kethits was a hassle. I think if you want to do something really nice for her, why don't you find her a home? She gestures around herself. Somewhere she can raise her animals, and have her plants, and have her bed. Someplace that would be hers. I was actually thinking to ask, is there a, a cave that you know of in the woods? Maybe a, a grove? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's like, I don't really want to paint everything built. Do you know of a cave somewhere? No! A sticker? No, that's not why he's asking. He's asking because it'd be like a, <clears throat> like a natural place, man. Right, yeah. Okay. He's still th he's still thinking druid, really. That's what's hurting right. him. He's he's still thinking druid. A cave. Or grove. I just <laughs> some place natural. Oh. If it if I have to build a damn house, I'll build a damn house, but it's something something you think she'd enjoy. Well, She Should probably wouldn't want to be too far from you. Well, then it would have to be some place I've been to before. I can teleport now, believe it or not. So, as long as it's some place that I can rest and spend a while. Ah, uh, but she holds her finger. Do not forget that she cannot. Uh, I, I know, that's the problem. I think she was fairly upset not so recently when somebody left her behind. I can't remember whom. Don't you start that. I didn't do that. Yes, yes, Rowan did. God damn it. Ah! And see, Rowan, she could not follow you. She literally could not. Then I will fix it. Everything works out in the long run. Life goes on. How far along is she in the in her nature wizard training? <clears throat> I teach her things and she studies me. I'm not teaching her as much as I used to. She's somewhat pulled away. 
<clears throat> just to be more independent, which is natural. But I notice her watching me when I do things, watching how I do it, so I think she's still picking up things. So I let her watch whenever she wants. <clears throat> whenever Pud doesn't chase her off by beaming her in the head with a pine cone. <laughs> <clears throat> I think she would love very much if you want to give her a gesture that shows that she matters as much as you or and she matters as much as your cabal and she matters as much as Katrina I think she would appreciate some gesture of commitment other than just marriage because with marriage she's still going to be second giving her a home that's your home and her home and Katrina's I don't think you'd want to exclude Katrina that could lead her in the wrong path but give it to where you know this is where she takes care of this is her place mm -hmm. and I think she'd like that somewhere where she can raise animals Roland <laughs> don't forget that I understand um. <clears throat> if you could find her or drew a teacher other than her mother, she probably would like that too. Outside of the Lyceum. Well, I mean, I know one person, but I don't know where he lives. Who is that? Ever hear of a man named Zatiji? <clears throat> yes, I have. Uh, we met him, I'm assuming. She told you about the fortunes we got. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> I, I don't know him. I'm assuming you do. Yes. We'd, after our mission, we'd, uh, we never... Uh, we never learned anything of him. Low, low rents and all that. Good, good, good business. I think you need to set your sights a little <laughs> set your sights a little lower than Satiki. Mm. He was a arch druid long, long ago. And oh. I think right now he is a champion of Aristo. So he's a demigod. I don't know if I'd call him a demigod, but he is divinely touched by Aristotle. He's imbued with Aristotle's power, so he could serve him. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> when Aristotle wants to send a message, Satiki is one of the messengers. Oh. Hmm. He does not reside on this world. Well, besides him, then I'm at a loss when it comes to that. And I don't have any idea where to, in the world to find someone like that. So I don't keep that kind of thing in the Lyceum anymore, of course. I would tell you. But you want this to be a nice gift, don't you? Mm-hmm. So I won't. Mm-hmm. She smiles. Did you ever hear about the Setha Hethan proverb of the boy who gave his female teacher a stone? He later wed her, but that's a different proverb. No. <clears throat> he had this teacher that he loved. I think he had a crush on her. And he was barely a man. And she was a woman. She was older than him. <clears throat> and he, she had taught him for the past, past several years <clears throat> how to read and write and to be intelligent and educated. <clears throat> and when their teaching days were done, and he was now a man, a very young man, but a man, he wanted to give her a special gift to let her know how much she meant to him. And so he walked 
on tour, which is, if you know your geography, Torland is on the eastern side of Sethahath. All the way across the desert of Sethahath, to the west, to the river Cod. Because he had heard there that there were stones, white as bone, and very smooth and very beautiful, along the shore. He walked the whole way across the desert, and he was very poor. I'm not even sure he had shoes. He picked up the best, most beautiful stone in the world that he could find. He combed the shore for an hour, and then he carried it all the way back. It took him months, both ways, total. <clears throat> he had no money, so he couldn't get her anything nicer. And he gave her the stone, and she started crying as he told her where he got it. And he thought that maybe he had given her a bad gift, which he kind of thought he had because he literally just gave her a stone and she was not a dwarf. <clears throat> and then so he asked her, you know, if he had offended her with the gift and he could get her another. And that uh, he started to speak poorly of it, and she said, Don't you understand that the journey was the gift? You know, I always hated those dwarven proverbs my mother would spew at me. This one, it wasn't much better, but I did it. Did you just say you hated my story? I hated the message. Oh. Because it made sense. Two smiles. I've picked up a thing or two through the years. You'd be amazed what I can do with just my fingers. He stands up. I think if, he's done baking. If he had a tie, he'd be straightening it. <laughs> and she goes so, over to the oven. So, oh, so, here, so he he'd kind of like like fluff out his hood, kind of like, yeah, this needs to not make me sweat so much. She brings out the oven, and uh, you notice she pulls the stuff out of the oven without an oven mitt. Sets it you down. You know what? That's fine. I don't even care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking magic. Picks up a meat pie and a spoon, a big wooden spoon. Oh no. Sets it down. You have flashbacks of your mother beating you over the head with a wooden spoon. Yeah. Was, don't that's... hit me. Don't stop hitting me, Mom. Stop hitting me. <laughs> You're doing it right better. <laughs> no, Mom. <clears throat> I didn't mean to pee on your rose bush. <clears throat> Here you go. Thank you. And she goes over and she comes back. <clears throat> and she has made a beautiful little uh, <clears throat> string, uh, like a shish kebab, of uh, <clears throat> vegetables and uh, some dried fish that she had just lying there. She gives it to Chell. Well, Chell's happy with that. Oh, boy, a bit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she'll sit down and just watch you eat. <clears throat> Sweetheart, you, you can go play if you want. You kind of say to Chell, you don't have to sit here. I know this is probably boring. Nom, 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 nom. Huh? I figured she would have played with the lion already. I'm surprised she's still here. Wazam! She jumps through the wall. Fucking Kool-Aid! <laughs> <laughs> and so she goes to the lion. Oh, no. All right, lion. I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> no, please! What, oh, the she... fuck is, what the fuck is green blood oil? That's the poison she has. Oh, well, she only has two poison darts left, by the way. I forgot to update that. The weapons thing. 
I didn't know she even had a different kind of poison. That's not. That's the poison she's got. That's not the poison she started with, though. I think so. I just didn't name it, did I? No, it was centipede poison. Oh, was it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's what she's got now. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> was there anything else Roland wanted to talk to her about? Uh, no. That's really it. He, he... All right. Do a one die 100. You got a 50% chance of Pud coming back before you're done eating. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this considered a good thing or a bad thing, by the way? It's bad, so that means you got to, A, talk to me more, and uh, B, you got to do two different voices. Right. Oh, shit. What the fuck am I trying to roll? 100. I'm assuming high is good. High is good. He's high not here. Good. All right. Okay. So you chat with her a while. Is there anything else you wanted in particular, or are you satisfied with that conversation? Uh, where the hell would he get a leshy? <clears throat> where you always just track one down and enslave it and beat it until it's in submission. Yeah, but they're plants. It's hard shit to find a plant in the middle of plants. And I ain't no herb herbalist. Well, the journey is part of the gift. And that's the sign of go to the menagerie. You're not allowed in the menagerie. Fuck off. Yeah, I am. I'm a graduate. Damn it. Yeah, that's right. Which means you gotta do maps now, because that's where I'm going. Huh? All right, the menagerie's ready. All right. So I'll stand up and give you a hug and a kiss on your cheek. Buries your face right in between her titties. God damn it. Oh, yeah. It's a straight-on hug, too. She doesn't do that side hug shit. Oh, I bet. You could just fucking motorboat. You got a Will saved, not motorboat. No, no, come on. Will saved, not motorboat. It is instinctual. Dang it. What happened? Nothing. Yes, this, come on. Okay. You managed to resist the urge to motorboat them puppies. The only tits you've seen like that are Leonie Hart and Delilah. That's it. They are the, the triple crown of booby. If only you could motorboat all three, you would be the triple crown winner. Well, he thinks you're for the, for the beet pies. All right, poof. Yeah, that's how you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a... <laughs> <clears throat> okay, he'd go get Chells, make sure she's not dead or eaten or both. She was eaten. God damn it. Get out of the lion. Come yeah, back the lion. in 24 hours, she'll pass. <laughs> get out of the lion. <laughs> Okay. Two of the menagerie. Try and find a fucking plant person. <clears throat> Even if they have a plant person, you don't think they're going to let you just, hey, I'm going to take this plant person? No, he's going to try and buy it. <clears throat> try and buy it. Try and buy it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, you go to the menagerie. You walk down here. Under the tunnel. <clears throat> There's a set of doors with stairs that lead up this way. Uh, very short entrance. There's a sign there posted. <clears throat> Restricted area. Only disciples. Permitted beyond this point. Students not allowed. I am disciple. I'm graduated. So, I'm not going to get trouble. That's what you think. It better. I hope not. Otherwise, the sign lies. <laughs> bullshit, bullshit sign. Bullshit sign. You're a lying fucking sign. Blah. You okay? Uh-uh. Okay. All right. 
Okay. Fucker T. There we go. You may wish to zoom out. I just realized. Yes. I can't talk to plants. <clears throat> no, you can't. Zeta can. Did I not deny McLeod any of this? No, that's right. That's something I was putting off. All right, so that's the only thing I've yet to do. All right, so cool. So we don't have to worry about fucking moving you much. <clears throat> so, by the way... Um, so I'll just put your token down just to see if, so you can see where you move, but otherwise it really doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so go ahead. Um, that do, do I know if Zeta knows... You know, I don't even know if that's a real language. Never mind. Of what? Nothing. That's fine. A plant language? No, druid it. Uh huh. Okay. Just they these plant things just speak druid it. Mm -hmm. I can't speak druid it, but they can. That's true. Okay. Well, so here's your chance you get to see all of the menagerie before dynamic lighting goes in. Good thing is, is that the is that these things aren't that expensive. <clears throat> Are they living things, or are they constructs? I forget. No, they're actual living things. Okay. Because they're plants. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a sign here and here. Stay the fuck out! As you approach, a voice is automatically triggered. Mm -hmm. Only disciples are allowed beyond this point. Prohibited are students. And those too stupid to not feed the animals. Well, he'd... I don't know. He'd hold up his ring, I guess. At the door, so it, it knows that he's not no stupid. What's quite interesting about this place is this door... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is fucking massive. You would instantly I, recognize this as this is fucking... I mean, look at the width of the door. Yeah, I can... Yeah, it's, th th it's thicker than me. Right, I mean, this is like a fucking uh, palisade door or something. And then <clears throat> you can push it open, and surprisingly, it's it's fairly lightweight. Obviously, something magical is afoot. Okay. And it swings open. In fact, <clears throat> you push it a little too hard, thinking it's going to be heavy. you completely not suspecting it, and it like, swings open and just busts a hole into the side of the building. Oh, no. No, just kidding. But it does kind of swing open. you got to kind of catch it so it doesn't slam into the wall. Like, oh. whoa, Clyde! <laughs> <laughs> And then you come in. <clears throat> is that is that a portcullis? Yes, you see a portcullis. Okay. And on the other side of it, another side of these fucking doors. I mean, this Are is there... like this is literally like a fucking uh, a buttress or, or uh, not a buttress, a uh, palisade. Okay. Well, they keep approaching. Yep. And uh, and then, right okay. there, I guess he'd stop and look up. Okay. Um. <clears throat> As you approach, it repeats again the voice. Students are prohibited beyond this point. To continue would be mean would result in expulsion. Mm. <clears throat> I can't see your token. Can you move it an inch? Disappeared. There we go. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, the gate. <clears throat> will lower as you approach within probably 15 20 feet it'll start lowering uh and as you get closer it actually lowers faster the rate at which it lowers increases it's got walmart doors i like it yeah <clears throat> they don't fuck around all right <clears throat> and then and then you open the doors when you open the doors i did not populate this yet so yeah i can tell <clears throat> i have to use the thing called imagination okay <laughs> This is like one of the first maps you did. There's like nothing here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. So this is all raised with massive pillars. And this is about to raise about five, six feet up in the air. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so I can't see over it. I'm a fucking dwarf. Right. Uh, you might be able to see the tables. These are pretty tall tables. Mm -hmm. These are like examination tables. And these are tool tables loaded with fucking torture equipment. Because they know how to treat their animals. These are magical rings. You don't know what the fuck they're for. You see these uh, frames. These archways. 
that are glowing and there's this translucent film between the two sides of the arch inside the arch and it's kind of got this light coming out of it and they're just listed there all right uncle where's the fucking plant man all right cave here for plant man <clears throat> you do see people walking back and forth in fact you see about uh, probably a half dozen just in this immediate vicinity from where you're standing okay <clears throat> Uh, somewhere in the distance, you hear roar, roar, roar. It's the lion re- re- auditioning for the Cadbury A commercial. Okay. Uh, is there like a greeter? I guess he just wait there a couple seconds if no yes, one ever. Yes, yes. It's just like Walmart. There's an old man that has fucking completely worthless in life, <laughs> and he's like, "Hi, will you please mean help me feel special?" And you're like, fuck off, old man. I'm here to buy some shit made in China. Yeet. <laughs> so no one comes up to greet him then? It's like, hey. No. Okay. Uh, like said, there's people on both sides. Are there signs? <clears throat> no, no signs. What the fuck? Bless you, uh, this way. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I guess he'd go towards the right, because the right's always the right way. Absolutely. He'd just go this way. Okay. And <clears throat> just... And... Hmm, let's see. <clears throat> And as you come up there, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping Chell close to me so that way they don't mistake her for like some state fucking monster. <laughs> okay. She's mine, asshole. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Okay. You come up there and you see something on this examination table. It's getting a colonoscopy. Come up the stairs, it opens its big jaw. Hey, I remember you we ran from one of you. It just blops out a big blob of drool on the table. And there's several people working, you know, like uh he looks somewhat sedated. One of them will turn to find a look at you. <clears throat> Are you Dilbert? No. Damn it, I'm going to kill Dilbert when he gets here. So what are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Um, I was looking. I've never been in here before. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, so you're just... Oh, you're looking. Okay. I was actually um, looking for something in particular, if you have it. <clears throat> They'll uh, grab the oat jig, oat jig and try to encourage him off the table. Come on. Come on. Come on. And they just, all three, just shove him all at once. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. And the oat jig just tries to start bitch slapping some of them. They grab and wrestle his tentacles down. He's obviously sedated. <clears throat> Alright, uh, what is it you're looking for? He, he tend to step back out of the way, so that way they can get downstairs. Um, a leshy, if you... Or leshy's right there. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Keep going. Uh, leshy's. Um, yeah, we have leshy's. Uh, do we... <clears throat> Name five. Do we have any leshies in house, or <clears throat> are they offloaded? Um, we may have a couple. Uh, they may be in the subfloor. Uh, hold on. You know, what? they may be actually. Hold on. Uh, leshies. What do you need? Do you need something from them? You know, you can put in orders. If you need, like, blood or something, or uh, parts of them, uh, we can extract that. 
I was hoping just buy one wholesale. Come on, Bob. Get just one foot after the other. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Uh, to buy one. Oh, okay. Um. Huh. Well, you're gonna have to speak to either the Harry caretaker or the uh, the vice head caretaker. Uh, and those would be where? Uh. Well, <clears throat> the vice is here somewhere. Um. <clears throat> She might be at the uh, the drinking fountain. Uh, I think she was taking uh, one of the uh, cats over there. Try the other one across there. The other, the, the other fountain. The, the drinking fountain. Drinking fountain. Yeah, yeah. If you go down there, just go down the stairs to the right, <clears throat> and just keep going. Uh, you'll go through a doorway. You shouldn't see a, a drinking fountain with a lion's head. Oh, okay. All right, come on, Bob. They jab him in the ass with a stick. Move it. Thank you. Don't, oh, don't rush, motherfucker. I'm in the fountain. I'm out of the fountain. I'm in the fountain. I'm out of the fountain. I'm peeing in your poo. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some food. I'm fucking hungry. Okay. So, you, you, so you can actually get some tokens in here. <laughs> Welcome back to a continued session of Roland fucking my time away. <clears throat> and munching. I'm ruining your recording. Huh? I'm ruining your recording. Yes, I noticed. You're trying to. All right. What you don't Term. understand is, I really don't give a shit about the quality of my recording. What are you recording it with, by the way? Oh, uh, <clears throat> an old Polaroid. Looks, looks pretty good on YouTube for an old Polaroid. Yeah, I overclocked it. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, Terabiella. How you doing? Well, you just slide up there like fucking Cool Hand Luke. Yo, Timiala, baby, how you doing? <laughs> First off, you see is a big ass pussy, and we're not talking the one on Zeta. Okay. <clears throat> you see uh, two women uh, <clears throat> in generally the same outfits. <clears throat> uh, Long sleeve outfits. <clears throat> and uh, this uh, leopard, or cheetah, rather. Okay. And it's sitting there drinking in the water. Termiella's kind of just watching. She'll turn around. Oh, Roland. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Is, is everything okay? Oh, oh, everything's fine. I'm just on a bit of personal business. I don't believe I've ever seen you in the uh, menagerie before. I've never been in before. Uh, well, well, welcome. <clears throat> it's a lot different than I expected. I guess I've never been someplace so noisy without a bunch of people hmm. making all the noise. Yes. We do what we can to teach the animals to be quiet, but... Sometimes they're obnoxious. <laughs> well, so were the wizards. <clears throat> I'm surprised you have not spent more time here. Usually conjurers enjoy the menagerie. I would, but my cabal has been extremely busy of late. Oh. Well, cabals tend to do that. I hope I'm not interrupting something. Seems you've got a specimen out. Kind of wood pester. <laughs> you gargling butter? <laughs> Lift his head, please. 
<laughs> he's fucking cat so tranquilized. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's just bubbling into the water. <laughs> they lift his head up. <clears throat> oh, we're just watering the animals. <clears throat> These are the locals that we are keeping here presently. What can I do for you? I would actually like to purchase a sp um, one of the creatures here. Oh. It depends. Many of the creatures here are not for sale, but some are. I can imagine. Um, Aleshi, actually. Aleshi. All right, you know, let me look up Lushies. Let me see if that would be something that they would actually be willing to sell. <clears throat> the ones that he'd probably want would either be uh, seaweed, How leaf, the fuck do you spell that? L E S H Y, Leshy. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Aren't these things like semi intelligent? Yeah, they are semi intelligent. They they can talk. So they're intelligent creatures. Can you play one? Oh. Uh, Oh. Uh, let's see. Well, let me see. I want. Uh, let me see a leaf fleshy. Leaf fleshy. Leaf fleshy. Leaf. They can be familiars, can't they? I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't know why they couldn't be. They're little fuckers. They don't exist naturally. They can only be created, but they're not "quote unquote" constructs. Oh, so these are created things, though. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, their their int is low. <clears throat> Some of them, the lowest, like the leaf one, which is like the lowest, the absolute lowest one, is like int five. Um, the seaweed one is like int nine, and the lotus one is like int sixteen, actually. It's so fucking racist. Yeah. Well. Fucking racist, Paizo. You're racist. Just because the Leshy has slant eyes does not mean he's more intelligent. It does. Alright, maybe it does. <clears throat> Just because it means that in real life doesn't mean it means that in fantasy land. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> Holy shit. N16 Wisdom 19. The Lotus Leshy is badass. <laughs> yeah. Lotus Lashy be like, I know why you're here, Roll. I mean, you are wrong. I shall tell you why you are wrong. Mm hmm. <clears throat> For more powerful fan, intelligent plant life, such as Elder Triance, Lashes or Sentient Plants, who look after the intelligence and brain, and I don't want to know about any of it, and Lashly is another one of the other. But a spirit spellcaster typically drew can grow a special plant body for one of these spirits, giving a spirit a home to animate. Oh, all right, fuck this shit. All right. <clears throat> I believe we have several lashes. Uh, I will have to check our registry. That's right. How soon do you need one? I know the food, I know. It could be a while, but... Sooner is better than later. Do you wish to request a certain type of leshy? Ah! Uh, mm, leaf is. A, le a leaf one, I guess. Just a little small one. Why not? Okay. Little small leshy, where are you? Little small leshy, boo boo boo. It's CR is one half. It's that small, or, or it, rather, it's, it's it's that shitty. Well, good to know you're not gonna spend a lot of money on Zeta. <laughs> Fuck off. Well, <laughs> shut up. It's not. Shut up. Uh, all right. <clears throat> okay, so she will walk off with you. They'll pull the cat's head back out of the sink. <laughs> and take him off and pitch his ass to sell somewhere. Get in there, cat. And then the women go off to have sex with some of the tentacle monsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's <laughs> that's the fucking major pastime there. <clears throat> All right. So she'll take you. Where the fuck is she taking you? Up here to the main bathing area. Past all the uh, glowing archways that seem to have uh, shimmering scenes amid them. Uh, and there should be desks here, but there are not visible ones. They're invisible desks! She goes up to the invisible desk. Pulls out a drawer. Pulls out some paper books. Starts looking through it. <clears throat> And uh, she'll ask you uh, what you would like to lesh you for. Um, to keep as kind of a pet of sorts, I suppose. Just, just to have around, kind of like a new member of the family. Not really a pet. That okay. was a bad, bad word. One die, one hundred. You have a. An... 80% chance that there's a less Any? 80. Any? 80. No, no, any leshy at all? Uh, a leaf leshy. Okay. So, does that mean above a 20? Above a 20, I would be correct. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they do not have a leaf leshy. You're what shit out the, of luck. Well, the, the 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 other two kinds are fine. All right. What other kind? Uh, what about seaweed? Oh my god! You're getting you you really gonna spend that much money on her? Shut up. Well, why would you? All right. <clears throat> All right. You got a seventy percent chance. Go. All hey. Right. Yes. And she'll tell you, I'm sorry, we don't have any leaf fleshies. All the leaves have already been raked up for the year. <clears throat> but we do got some seaweed leshies because we're in the middle of the fucking river-like bay. Meanwhile, somebody brings in an elephant. And walks him up here and starts bathing him down. Neat. <coughs> the elephant takes a big snoot full of water and blows it at you. <laughs> Nice. Uh, yep, seems like there's always commotion going on in the background. Okay. And uh, should I ask if you want it alive or if you want it chopped up and presented in any way? Alive. Okay. I'm just kidding. She would not ask you that. All right. <clears throat> and, uh... <clears throat> hmm. Now, when they are first created, I see she has no armor, but can construct it from a man, which is going they have no armor. So what, wait, what armor are they saying they have? Plant? Plant armor. Essentially what, uh, armor made out of like dried seaweed. No Just... treasure. Okay. Well, that sucks, Donkey Dick. <laughs> yeah, they're they're just like little fucking plant men. That's all they are. They're ugly. Yeah, the seaweed ones aren't great. <clears throat> all right. I shall say just give us a moment. Uh, we don't have one in the house, but we do have one uh, offloaded. We can, uh, we'll send someone to uh, track it down and uh, catch it. Okay. Unless you'd like to go track it down and catch it yourself. Uh, I don't know the first thing about that. I'll have to decline. Alright. <clears throat> well, name 12, name 13, name 14. Go fetch me a fucking seaweed wrap leshy. No, Uncle. It's made of seaweed. It's not wrapped in it. It is the... Alright. Whatever. <coughs> they run off. And they jump in one of the gates. And disappear. She talks to you about everything. How's your life? What are you doing? How's the butcher? Don't. Don't tell me she calls him that. No, she doesn't. Okay. Um, he, he'd asked, um, why conjurers spend a lot of time here? Um, he would say that, um, I didn't think that you kept creatures bound here. 
from other planes. Well, not for long. You're surprised that what's here? He's surprised that she said that since he's a conjurer, he wasn't here more. And he said, in response to that, that he didn't think that they kept many extraplanar creatures, like, stuck here. Oh, yes. Absolutely. We have many creatures from all over the cosmos. Of course, they're not always here. But they are nearby. What do you mean? Well, we often offload them into one of the nearby demiplanes. Do you have demiplanes where you store creatures? Each one of those archways is their own habitat, their own little world. Hmm. They're right now trekking across Jurassic Park trying to find your leshy. <laughs> well, I, I don't suppose you need clearance to go study, do you? Or a, a handler or whatever? Yes, you need permission from the caretakers. If you actually wanted to go in them for some reason. I'm, I'm surprised you don't keep things labeled here. It was quite hard to find my way around. But they are labeled. I didn't see any signs. Were you at any of the, the habitats? Mm, no. Hmm. These public areas are not labeled there. For the most part, those that work here know what they're doing. I suppose it wouldn't make sense then. But if you go visit the individual cages, you should see markings on them. Okay. All right. And she searches. Well, they search. And she'll ask you to, if you want to go ahead and pay. Well, sure. Okay. The price is going to cost you... <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> some 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 coke went down the wrong tube. Okay, and she says uh, that'll be uh, nine thousand gold, please. Hang on a minute. I didn't know they were that expensive. <laughs> I, hang on a minute. It ain't that expensive. Unless, oh, oh, what? Oh, it is that expensive. If mm. you double it, and they'd have, they'd fucking double it, those bastards. Actually, it should be triple now. You mention it. Why would it be triple? Divine is triple. I mean, divine is triple. Divine products are triple in Eclipsia. Is. Is it divine? No. What's the spell you use? Summon. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh. So it'll be uh, 4,500 times 3. Zeta, you better suck my dick real good. She already does that. Well, she better do it better. <laughs> Minus. Thirteen fifth okay. Okay. Thirteen five hundred. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it. I did it. Fine. I'll pay. You pay. Well, of... You're gonna get a delinquent unless you too. He's gonna be like half retarded. <laughs> his, <laughs> his eyes bulge out of his head a little bit at the price, but he, he pays it. You start walking out with him and suddenly he just veers off to the left and slams face first into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, you gave me one with a stuck wheel. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, she brings out way. twelve monkeys to help count. By the way, but by the way, <laughs> yeah. um, I don't suppose, unless she's here, you've taught to speak to Thulin, did you? Well, that would probably be a small thing for us to do. 
Well, it doesn't. Well, on their thing, it says that they that they speak those, but it doesn't say that they only speak those. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I believe these leshies probably do not. They might. If some of the workers worked with them while he or she was here, it would have. But if not, uh, this leshy was stored in Sylvania, so no, most likely not. Okay. It would speak s Sylvan. I, I do not. Oh. Sucks for you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me see. But I know who does! <clears throat> who is that? Well, that's Chill. a leshy. That's shit. Chill does. Alright, give me a fucking picture of a moldy penis. <laughs> Dude, j just look up seaweed leshy. They're fucking adorable. There you go. <laughs> They're passing that off. <laughs> no, that's not what they look like. It's a moldy penis. It's spotted dick. They look like that. <sighs> they don't have anything leshy. Look at what I just leaked. Oh, it's in, so cute. In the World 20. They look like that. That's just fucking adorable. Makes me sick. Monsters. It's a fucking sea weak leshy. Uh, that's what they look like. That's I what... like having a sea weak leshy. Who wouldn't want a sea weak leshy? Sea weak Khaleesi. Call me Leshy. Leshy. Oh my god. What? Look how tiny that fucker is. Yeah, they're fucking adorable. Fucking dude. Hey, bring him out. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> That's Leshy for. Hi there, tall fat man. <laughs> Oh, so Chell's just done translate then? I don't know. <laughs> You're fucking familiar, You're not mine. Chell, sweetheart, can you understand what he's saying? No, fuck off. <laughs> Eat me. Me, 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 Go ahead, Chell, translate. Uh... Hello? What's your name? How did Chow get such a deep voice? <laughs> oh, I thought you... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you want me to do. Chow, it's to translate. Oh, so you want me to talk to Chow? Yeah. Fuck. Mm. Hello, what's your name? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't do girl voices. That's why I don't play girl them. Voice. You should shave that beard and wear a dress. <laughs> fuck off. Mm -hmm. It's okay now, Roland. It's alright. It, in this today's world, you are allowed to identify as a dress wearing walrus. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. A dress wearing Sasquatch. <laughs> Uh, all right. Isn't, isn't that what your dad called you, or was it uh, Bigfoot? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me 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 Hello? Did you hear me, Uncle? Yeah, I'm waiting for Chow to answer. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it said. You. What it the said, fuck? Did... Uh. Hi there, Chow. I'm Aleshi. What's up? 
it, they're not dumb. It has like nine end. Are you saying anybody that says "was up" is dumb? No, I'm saying that it's it's self-aware. Of course, it's just said he's a self, he's a leshy. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? Leshy. But Terminella calls me Little Mike. I'm, I want to call you Lish. Okay. I'm going to call you Toadstool. This fuzzy thing here? Hmm? Mm-hmm. We're your new family. Okay. Are you going to come live with me in Sylvania, or are you just going to kidnap me and take me away from my home? We're, we're going to kidnap you. Awesome. Let's go. Hop in his beard. He loves that. He jumps down your pants. Boo! <laughs> wrong it... bush, Leshy. The wrong bush. <laughs> and then, of course, she'd relay everything to Roland, and Roland will sigh. Yes. <laughs> Very heavily. And they turn to All right. And you now have yourself a Leshy. It's going to follow you around. Now, curse you, you have to figure out what to do with this until you're ready to give it as a gift. I am going to call it Lou. Right. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want. Its name is Lou. All right. No. It wants to be Little Mike. It's Lou. All right. It's Little Lou. Little Lou. That's fine. It wants fine. to be it's called Lou Lou. <laughs> I'm not... But you're a boy. I'm a bush. Is 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 it a is it a boy or a girl or what's it think it is? Hey, this isn't the land to fucking identify. Well, <laughs> what does it think it is? It is Just a leshy. I'm I'm assuming. I don't know if they actually have genders or not. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. The sexes. I don't. I mean, most plants do. It's a boy. Fuck it. It's a boy. What okay. do you want it to be? It can be either. I'll let you choose. It's fucking name is Lou, goddammit. It's a boy. It's Lou. Well, if you want it to be a girl. No, it's a Lou. It's All Lou. Right. Mm. All right. But when you see this fucking Lou behind your back, I want to hear about it. Oh, you're going to get an earful and a half from me. <clears throat> All right. Now we go to the library. Wee! Me, 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 of a seaweed leshy. Alright. So, do a uh, perception check with Int to do research. Percep... Okay. But use Int instead of Wisdom. No, I, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yeah. So, perception, yeah. my perception. Yeah. So, it would be plus seven. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the run roll. Holy shit. Okay, that, hey, that's pretty good. Holy shit again. All right. <clears throat> you find a book right away. How to make a leshy. You find another book. How to prune a leshy. Another book. How to train a leshy not to be so gnarled. Uh, Eddie, book. Leshy breeding. It's the Leshy Kama Sutra. <laughs> okay. Any of these tell me how to take care of a seaweed Leshy? <clears throat> All of them. All of them. Okay. So, how does it feed? Why are you asking me such difficult questions? Uh huh. Uh, do they fucking eat? No, they don't. And they don't have... It says that although perfectly capable of existing out of water indefinitely, seaweed leshies prefer to limit their time away from the sea. Out of huh. sense of pre- so they can technically live away from water forever because they're plants. So, 
So essentially, they can just live forever. Just flat, I guess. <clears throat> Neat. Uh, Unless you're doing a <laughs> homebrew leshies. So, they like being near the water, but what does it say about food? Anything? No. It oh. just says they can, they're perfectly capable of existing out of water indefinitely. See, seaweed leshies resemble miniature waterlogged green humans. Uh, <clears throat> Most seaweed leshies, holy shit, they're fucking like racist as fuck. Most seaweed leshies take a dim view of mm -hmm. freshwater plant life. <laughs> Mocking it. You An suck. urbanite might talk down to those who live in more rural areas. <laughs> <laughs> Their armor is... Uh, oh, they use like shell and natural armor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, 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 that's like the picture I showed you. <clears throat> Alright, so they eat. They fucking... <clears throat> they fucking seafood. I don't know. No, they don't. They eat Sky. They eat sunlight. <laughs> they eat sky. <laughs> They're plants, you piece of shit. <laughs> Give me a nibble, sky. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> they, uh, they're plants, man. <clears throat> All right. They they feed by osmosis. They need. So here's where we're gonna do it. If you're gonna say they're gonna be feed by that shit nutrients, then he needs to be able to uh, have. <clears throat> Rest in dirt. He needs to be able to take a dirt nap. He needs water, and he needs sunlight and air. Routine. But he doesn't. But he doesn't need salt water. He doesn't need it. Well, he does need salt though. If you throw a little Morton on him, he's okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So that sort of business is going to the marketplace. He can't handle ionized salt though. Okay, going he's to the Jewish. marketplace. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the marketplace. Uh -huh. I'm gonna let him pick out his own pot to piss in. No, to to sleep in. <clears throat> All right. You find a pot for him. How fancy of a pot? Whatever kind he wants, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> If he pissed the fanciest pot there, it's worth like 12 million gold. I'm not buying it. All right. He wants a fancy pot. It's made out of gold. No. He wants a... Uh... <clears throat> he don't want a pot. It's metal. He don't like metal. Well, like a like a flower pot. Like, man, I'd like ceramic. All right. He likes that. He wants a fancy one. It costs three gold. Fine. All right. Three He's happy. Gold. Okay, Are now. You my father. <laughs> yes. Q. <Cue. laughs> You're gonna beat your mommy soon enough. All right, no need to beat around the bush. That's my job. Uh, so now I'm gonna go to the beach, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get some sand, since I was assuming that seaweed leshy he'd like sand. Yes, but not the little shitty sand. Okay. Only the finest sand shall do for the lushy of seaweedy. I'll let him go get his own sand and his own seawater and put it in. He spends a half hour stomping on all the low sand. <clears throat> and then he picks up some sand he, he deems worthy enough for himself. Okay. So he has enough to live now. <clears throat> yes. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now he can live forever. Cram his ass in the box and seal it shut. Okay. Poke some holes in the top. And. Okay. Uh. Holy shit, I have another living creature I've got to fucking take care of. Yeah. So now i got to figure out what you're going to do with him until you decide to give it to her. Okay. <clears throat> I think uh, this is a good place to stop, though. You pretty much got everything resolved. Was there anything else you wanted to do? In particular? Take you to, take you to Zeta. <clears throat> well, you're going to have to wait till you guys teleport away <clears throat> for that, so. God damn it. Okay. I think that, that's all you're going to get done that, that morning. I show it to Trina and ask if she thinks it's cute. Oh, she thinks it's adorable. She wants to know if she can have it. I'd tell her my plan that I talked to her mom about. 
she thinks it's a very good plan. She likes it, and she thinks that she's going to love it. And the thing about making them, making her more relatable to Zeta. Like how? Like the way they stressed about, you know, about the whole thing about um, Katrina being raised differently and not really knowing what a, a really stringent parent is. And so kind of maybe seeing if... Um, Do you think my parents are stringent? He just looked at her. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh. Just to someone who's never been in your culture, very stringent. Well, I suppose we could introduce her to that, but, you know, she could be pretty shocked about how the differences of how women are over there. If she's never been there before. I think maybe some culture shock might do some good. I'm just trying to help. <clears throat> she not. No, she's more than happy to help you. Okay. All right. So, what do men wear over there? Just like turbans and shit? No. What do they wear? Uh, usually, men wear uh, they can wear pants or tunics like anybody else, but usually they wear like skirts or like uh, togas or something like that. Sometimes, not usually togas though. Usually, it's like skirts or draperies or loose clothing. They usually, what they're out in the desert, they dress in layers. But <clears throat> the higher station you are, usually the less you wear, especially the women. But it's kind of uh, the more it's become a thing that the more less you wear. The more regal you are, because it's obvious that you don't have to labor in the sun. So you're kind of making that point by saying, look at me. I can walk around naked and I do not burn. Um, uh, so, just robes would be good then? Mm -hmm. Okay. For you. What about you? Oh, I have lots of clothes. <laughs> I know. And I have clothes for over there, you know, to fit the custom. But what do they look like? She smiles a little bit, somewhat shyly. A little more revealing than what you're used to here. Like, Laria revealing or Pooty revealing? Oh, she thinks about that for a minute trying to figure out which one's worse. In Rowan's mind, Pudi is more revealing by a long shot. <clears throat> okay. Probably a little worse than Pudi. Oh. Well, that'll be fun. In Asher, though, at least, Asher tends to cover up a little more. So, if you go for the north, or... Um, Zabiri Akram, actually, uh, is very traditional. Uncle, pull up the map real quick. I want to... Mm -hmm. While she's throwing out dates, I don't want to... Or, not dates, but locations. See, I'm already fucking it up. Okay. See, yeah, Asher. Sure. Now, Zabiri Akram is extremely traditional. And yeah. their most noble women, they, they're they at least topless at all times. Hmm. Huh. Rataka is sort of that way, too. Uh, they can be actually nude. Like I said, they're extremely traditional and... They're kind of known for that, that they're a little more extreme than the rest of us. For Taka, they're usually topless, and we're, we're covered. But you usually don't, women especially, they don't want to cover more than necessary because it's a sign of status. Unless you don't want me to be shown off, that's your prerogative. Usually the males want to show off their assets, all of them. I had a sunburn once. It was one of the worst experiences I ever had. I hate it for anyone else to have one. 
Unless you've got some kind of fix for that, I'm assuming. Well, we have to be very careful. This is... Having pale skin like mine is also a sign of uh, <clears throat> extreme aristocracy. Again, the more time you spend out in the sun, it's usually because you have to. Especially yeah. among women. Men is not the same. Men are known, even noble men have to go out to campaign or take care of their business or to march to war. So I don't think it can on as much with them. But even with them, sometimes the paler they are, the lighter skinned, <clears throat> even the really dark skinned, usually you're considered lower heritage. More likely coming from a worker class. What about dwarves over there? They don't have dwarves over there. Uh, except, you know, the ones that live there, but you mean native dwarves? Well, I've got fairly dark skin and I don't go out much it's just the way I am well they understand I mean we have all sorts of anim uh, animals <laughs> wow uh, <laughs> I, I'll, 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 I'll let you sweep that I, I, don't, I don't think she misspoke like no that. she wouldn't have misspoke uh, we have all sorts of races and, uh, I mean that's what Hethans are known for and it's true and Asher especially you see the demographics of Asher it's I wish it was just a cleaner silly. It was so beautiful at one time, and now it's just not. I mean, it is, but it's nothing like it was. So, and I forgive me truly for, for some reason, forgetting. <sighs> because, because I don't, just I don't. Was Rowan ever told actually why? She needed to go back and help? No. Okay. <clears throat> but I Well, don't... she did say that her father said that <clears throat> he thought he was going to leave the Lyceum. Yeah. And that he wanted but... to go back to take care of things, or he needed her to come with him to come back. To, to yeah, that's, that, that, that's why. Um... <clears throat> but, um... Why is it that you're needed there. I don't know. I wish I knew. Uh, I don't know what, if he wants to... He might just want my presence there. Um, that would kind of be nice if that's what it was, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, but I don't know. He didn't tell me, and I didn't think he would. He probably wouldn't. Well, he'd, he'd kind of put his hands on hers. Whenever we get over there and figure everything out, shouldn't be that big of a deal. She'll smile. Or, or if it is, I'm sure we can handle it. <clears throat> or at least your father can. Who do you think, to re if he left, who do you think would replace him? I can't imagine who would replace an Archmages. <sighs> Especially two. I don't know. Uh, if my mother goes too, it's going to be such a change. Well, maybe they'll offer me a job. <laughs> <sighs> well, they probably would. What? You're kidding. If you wanted to move over there, I... They probably would. No, I meant as an Archmages. They offered me the job. Oh. Well, it was a joke. Be an Archmages. You Thank you. can't pronounce it correctly yet. <laughs> it's Archmages. Arch... Magus. Arch... 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 Okay, look. Fucker. People say Magus. People say Magus. It's Magus. Okay. Fine. Whatever. It's Mage or Magus. Okay, fine. Don't say Meg. That would sound really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those maids over there, man. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> that was just a joke. Dear, thank you for that vote of confidence, though. Do you really want to take Sita over to Asher? 
He'd nod. <clears throat> How is she going to handle the, the clothing? I I think she'd be a bit better with showing off her stuff than you think. She certainly likes to do it in private. Okay. Maybe she'll like it there. Maybe she'll want to stay. Uh, I don't think so. There's no trees. Not a lot of animals she'd probably recognize. We have trees, Roland. You do? Well, yeah. I, th I thought it was just sand and cat dye and scorpions. That's only out in the outlands and the deeplands and the barrens. Mm. See, even I've got to learn. That's okay. I will teach you. I've been spending... He'd be the healing bit. And spending so much time learning about the outer planes. Pfft, didn't even bother to learn about the ones I've got to go walk to. <clears throat> He'll, uh, <clears throat> she'll lay down with you and, uh, talk to you play, play with the leshy. Yeah. It's cute. I liked it. It'll eat your beard. Does he even have a mouth? I don't think he has a mouth, because they're not supposed to eat. It took two clamshells, and he's using it for lips. <laughs> That's adorable. No, it's not. The lips are not on its head. It's still funny. <laughs> it's like Ace Ventura talking with its ass. Pardon me! So now, the rest of the... you have a mint? <laughs> so guess what? Now, you're gonna teleport to Tarnuheth. I wish. <clears throat> you'll beat you'll you'll beat Kurtal there. No, now now he's he's got to go fucking talk to Zeta. Oh God, I'll right. we we do this some other fucking time or later or during the actual session. I don't do shit. Yeah, we'll do that during the session. So, what did Kyle want to do? Alright. <clears throat> Goodbye, YouTube. I hate you. Fuck yourself. <laughs>